Good morning vlog. Today's game day, home opener. I woke up at six this morning to make some coffee. Moin. And so I still have to get some groceries for breakfast this morning, but I'm gonna do that. Come back and cook breakfast here and then head over to the field for some early hitting before the rest of the team gets there. But today I am the beer batter. So usually this is somebody for the other team. And when this specific person strikes out or something, the fans get beer for free or not for free, but for a discount. Uh, but we switched it. And so every time I get on base, it's beers for one euro. So it's kind of funny. It'll be fun. And uh, hopefully we can get some cheap beers for the crowd today. So just gonna do my German lesson here online, do a little reading, drink some more coffee, continue with the day. So let's do it. So the cool thing is the grocery store is really close to my house. By bike, it's like one minute and 30 seconds. I'm pulling up right now. And I think it opens at seven, so it should be right on time. Forgot my grocery bag. There we go. I'm not getting much, just eggs, bread, oatmeal. Simple stuff. Okay, so it doesn't open for another hour. So the new plan is go home, get my stuff, and go to the field early because I know that the other grocery store will be open so I can easily get some food there and eat at the field. So that's the plan. And if you're curious, this is my means of transportation. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'd like to share my thoughts from this morning about today, about the game, about playing. This is a home opener, the first home opener of the season, but this could be the last one that I ever play in. And not from my choosing, but just from not being able to predict what could happen. And so, Today, I want to play like it's the last time I ever play a home game to open, open the year. It's a way to express my gratitude for the game to the home people, the home fans. It's a way to make sure I give it my best effort for the day to be able to be happy with my potentially last ever home opener baseball game. That's the mentality for today. And it could be applied to anything you're doing, to any game you ever play. This could be the last time you ever play. So how will you do it? How will you remember today? Ask yourself that question. Okay, check this out. Fifty cents. Okay, that was a success. I think I think this was the fastest I've ever gotten to the field from my house. I got every single green light, didn't stop once. So yeah, that's good. It's a good start to the day. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so I had like three things in the grocery store. I'll show you what I got when I pull up to the field here, but very friendly gentleman in front of me. Let me go first. He had about 10,000 things. So uh, I got in and out of there real quick. Now I'm gonna cook up some nice breakfast and continue on with the day. Oh yeah, it's good. The sun's coming out. 
fingers, feeling them again. It was a bit chilly on the ride over here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, real quick, because I think all the people that help out here in the community are gonna start showing up pretty soon and they're gonna need the kitchen. So, a little grocery haul for you. Two croissants with ham and cheese and a chocolate French brochure with some vanilla cream, something in the middle. Fire. Six eggs. Microwave. Get that started right now. Boy. I don't think so. Not yet. Good morning. Moin. Why are you so early on the field? Yeah, perfect weather today. Tomorrow it's yes, it is. more, I don't know, more cloudy, colder. Yeah, so perfect. For, That's perfect. For today. Uh, eggs going in the microwave. Picked up some oatmeal, some apples for the game, and uh, some chicken. And of course, can't forget the PB&J. I'm, I'm already looking forward to this. I'm thinking, uh, I'm gonna save it for in between the games because we got two games today. First game's at 12.30, 12, and the second game's at 3.30. So right in between, this is when I'm gonna break out the magic. Okay. Eggs, perfect. I'm gonna put those inside the ham and cheese croissants. I guess this is turning more into a cooking video, but some oatmeal here. And I got some water heating up. And I recently discovered something that will change your life. Just sprinkle some of this in there. <laughs> Insane. That's it, that's all you need. Final breakfast platter, dessert, ham and cheese, eggs, oatmeal. Perfect. Just finished eating here. Absolutely toasted this food. And what did I say about eating spaghetti with a white shirt on? It's not spaghetti, but I guess it's the same concept. Don't eat in white shirts. So that should hold me over for about an hour. Um, I got, you know, you saw my other stuff. <clears throat> but when I was preparing the food, uh, one of the guys came in here, past players, and he said it's difficult sometimes to watch games because it still feels like it's his old team playing and it leaves a little feeling, you know, in deep inside. This got me thinking about the topic today, which is this could be the last home opener I ever play in or the last game you ever play in or whatever. And he finished playing in 2004, he said. So that's, how long ago is that? Almost 20 years ago. And he's still thinking about it. So that says two things. One. It was very important to him. Two, even when you stop playing and you finish your career, you're gonna keep thinking about it. It's kind of time back to the whole reason I thought of playing baseball again in the first place was one of my coworkers who was 55 years old and still thinking about his high school football days. And I was thinking, man, if he's thinking about this, my dad's thinking about this, and now this other guy in here is thinking about this, of course I'll be thinking about it too. So it makes me want to appreciate this time a little bit more and really give it everything I got because it'll be with you for the rest of your life. And so, yeah. But anyway, it's about 8.15 right now and Linus is meeting me here at, at nine, so 
got some time to chill, let food digest, breathe a little bit, enjoy the weather, enjoy the sunshine, get my mind right for the game, games, that's the plan. Listen to some music here and chillax a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now is get my uniform and equipment ready for the game. So it's an easy change and get into work. Picked up some fresh socks last night and this is an absolute game changer. Because I'll show you, here, I'll show you what I'm working with. What I was working with. Yeah, check this out. Holes and dirt. Holes and dirt. Okay, so I can get rid of this. And I got fresh ones, nice. So I'm just cleaning up my shoes a little bit, my cleats. I learned this in high school. Our coach had us clean our cleats before the games or the night before. It's a good little routine. They're pretty stained and they're not uh, perfect, but it's better than nothing. A little bit better. So I'm just doing some rolling out here before I go hit a little bit and before the team comes. This is just a little peek into what happens before the game on a game day. And this is our first home opener of the year. So I'd really like to focus up and get dialed in before the game. So I won't be filming uh, for the rest of the day, but hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and check out videos every week, Wednesdays and Saturdays, if you're on the Pacific Standard Time location of the world. Um, but I really want to focus up for the game, so I'm just doing some rolling out here and stretching, and then we'll get into it. So have a great weekend. Enjoy your life. You never know what could happen, so be grateful for what you got.